fresh off the boat from Sonic Origins and our love letter to Sonic 3's Hydro City Zone. Today we're doing another deep dive into what could be Sonic's best water level. This time we're heading into the ruins. Not you, Marble! Ah yes, Aquatic Ruin. Starting with the first act, we're immediately introduced to two new elements. Robotnik's arrow shooting traps and the budget extendo columns that buy your passage, but can easily be broken down from above. The high path, as usual, will net you the most rewards and praise from mountain climbers everywhere. Careful timing of jumps is needed on this route that offers checkpoint posts, i.e. multiple chances for Chaos Emeralds if you have 50 rings, and a fair few rings on the way. The two middle paths sometimes snake and intersect, with the falling platforms something to watch out for as they continue hurtling to the depths. The bottom path, expectedly, is entirely underwater, offering the most challenge, but there are some goodies for those brave enough to challenge the sweet hydro. All paths are littered with another new mechanic, the spring lever. Designed to be triggered while running, these can get you some good distance and height throughout the level, and even can launch you from a less desirable path to one with better prospects and a stable job. It's a sweet saving grace at the end of the underwater route, getting you out of the aqua and into Act 2. Act 2 has a very similar design to the first one, consisting of layers intersecting with each other. But while both acts have pits and areas to fall into H2O, the second act gives you way more chances to get up to the higher plane. Ascend, my child! Where a crazy amount of pirate paraphernalia awaits. You get another set of checkpoint posts, a shield, and a fair few rings. Even the mid-routes offer lots of boxes to claim. This time, one of the mid-routes is partially submerged, and the traps and badniks throughout Act 2 have essentially tripled, meaning that you'll need some careful jump timing to make it to some areas. Players going for the Chaos Emeralds be warned, as there are a ton more enemies in this act. Particularly this little shite, the Robofly. These guys fly erratically and descend on you, with little regard for your dignity and the rings making up your superannuation package. They even serve as a nice middle finger when you finally get out of the underwater route. Other badniks throughout the level include the Chompy Piranhas, and the return of the Drill Boys from Sonic 1's Labyrinth Zone. But instead of springing up from the floor, they're all hopped up on Kool-Aid and start busting through walls. At the end of Act 2, we hit the cherry of an all-around stellar zone, the boss fight with Robotnik. Sonic gets trapped between two giant tiki columns, with Robotnik floating safely out of reach, hammering each pole to shoot arrows out at Sonic. These arrows form makeshift ledges that can give you the height to get some hits in. But the true delight of this boss battle is that if you're quick and well positioned, you can jump to the very top of a rising column at the start of the fight, gain easy access for attacks, and reduce the fight to nothing more than a painfully slow game of whack-a-mole for the good doctor. Look at the frustration of his best laid plan blowing up in his face. And the hammer serves as a nice keepsake for our unseen pal Amy to pick up later on. She's tired of taking so much crap from medals, you better believe it. The head cannonball has been fired for your pontification, friends. So, summing up our foray into Le Dune de Aquatique, overall I'd say it's pretty magical. Both Act 1 and 2 are a masterclass in platformer level design. I'd say with the exception of the boss fight, I do prefer Act 1, as it's a little more contained, and with less enemies and traps, you can really relax and get immersed in it, without worrying too much about loam sharks, drill kool-aid, and the robo mozzie patrol. That's what this level is all about for me, relaxation. It seems like a bit of an oxymoron in a Sonic game, but the art of Aquatic Ruin paints a lush, overgrown picture of chillness, and the backdrop of the run-down but majestic ruins add to the experience. Even the addition of the green reefy leaves in the underwater sections gives you a feeling of calm, and if your jumps didn't work out, at least it's a nice place to drown. Compared to the iconic purple death liquid of Chemical Plant, and the accursed BP oil spill aftermath of Oil Ocean, Aquatic Ruin offers a pure, relaxing water level experience, and is arguably the only true water level in Sonic 2. Both acts of Aquatic Ruin are like some sort of delicious cake, intricately layered and running to the same endpoint, the boss battle in your stomach. Seriously though, this is one of the first times in the game, perhaps the series, of a level showcasing such an interconnected layout of routes, where other zones may cut off paths for you down the line. Everything is open and free to access at any point in Aquatic Room. 
It encourages exploration and getting lost in this gorgeous environment. But down to the question we've all been waiting for. Is Aquatic Ruin Sonic's best water level? Whenever we consider these complex, multifaceted questions, the answer always invariably is, I'll get back to you on Monday! The Genderson Report isn't gonna write itself! For me, as I've commented on our Hydro City video, I feel that the Sonic 3 stage does have an edge over Aquatic Ruin in terms of design. It has a few more elements, and being a newer game, Sonic controls and jumps a hell of a lot better in water. The emphasis on high speeds, even when submerged, also helps cinch it in my opinion. But, in terms of Atmos, I would argue that nothing beats Aquatic Ruin's chewed yet intriguing vibe. It's perhaps one of the most picturesque settings in the entire 2D Sonic series, and the only zone that could warrant a more relaxing music track had the developers been so inclined. Wait a second, am I forgetting about another water level with a relaxing track? It's probably fine. While they did go with a more upbeat track here, I think it still captures an undiscovered slice of paradise. Aquatic Ruin, a truly classic water level that you can get totally lost in.